Hi, I'm Chris Heller, Chief Real Estate Officer here at Ojo. And I'm Jeremy Taylor, Vice President of Real Estate and Mortgage here at Ojo. Today, we want to talk to you about creating optionality for sellers. Now, we know as we come into the spring selling season, we're going to have more and more opportunities, not just at Ojo, but in business in general, to work with sellers that are interested in getting their home on the market and sold. Now, Chris, we both know that the world has changed a little bit in the last few years and, and the best agents don't just go in with their same, you know, this is how I take professional photos and this is how I get your home sold. They have optionality for sellers. They're, they're working with iBuyers, they have guaranteed sale programs, buy before you sell. And I'd love to hear you talk and, and help our agents for a minute understand how can they leverage guaranteed sale or iBuyer programs in their listing presentation and really get started with this next gen set of opportunities. Yeah, we really need as agents, we need to take a step back. Um, this is about the consumer. It's not about us. As a consumer, we want options. As a consumer, I want to be able to sell my house without anyone walking through it, without having to fix it up, but knowing it's sold. Now, of course, the numbers have to make sense. Or I'd want to have a, a backstop offer on my house. So if, if we market it and we don't get an offer, I know at least I have plan B to fall back on. Or I want to be able to buy before I sell and move out of my house because I got three kids and I don't want to, I can't keep it perfect. And, and it's so much easier if we can just move and then sell the house. So sellers want these options as agents. It's incumbent upon us to deliver them. And quite frankly, if we aren't the ones delivering them, they're going to get them somewhere else. So they better come from you versus somewhere else. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. Now, Chris, what I hear a lot from agents when we start this conversation is, okay, well, I would love to do this. Like, I, I would love to be able to give somebody a guaranteed backup offer. I would love to help them work with an iBuyer, but we don't have iBuyers in my market and I don't have enough cash to buy somebody's house. So, like, how do I make this work? Yeah, so you, 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 you break them down, you look at one, one at a time. So, if it's a, a buy before you sell, we get familiar with all the companies that are offering that. Uh, and there's several, and there's probably several in your marketplace. And we learn about how they work. And, and we, we go through their training if they have training so that we can be, uh, speak about them intelligently and enthusiastically. My real estate team uses them for, for several companies. If it's a cash offer, like a, there's a number of investors in your marketplace who will gladly give a cash offer on any of your listings. There's institutions that will do it, like Open Door or OfferPad. So there's solutions. We need to look at each one of these and make sure that we have a couple of solutions so that when we're talking to a seller, we can present those. Now, here's what we know. Most sellers, not all, some will definitely want and need the convenience route, right? They need certainty and they need convenience and that's what it's going to take. But the majority of them are going to end up listing their home to get maximum value. And the opportunities that we have to bring the options, get us in the home, in the conversation, at the kitchen table, present all the options. And the majority of the time, the seller is probably going to choose listing the property and getting the most money possible. So we have to be prepared to be able to give them all the options. We have to be prepared for any option they choose. We also need to know that the majority of the time, they're going to list the house. Yep. I think that's absolutely right. And the thing that you're pointing out here is there is no replacement for hard work, due diligence, and just getting out there and figuring it out. And so do the research. You get to know these companies in your market, work with other top agents in your market that are offering these programs. And hey, you find that investor that wants to make offers on your properties, that could be new business that you're picking up to add to your business here in 2023. So we hope this helps. We appreciate your partnership. Chris, close us out with some final comments. Here's the final comment. This is a couple things not to do. Jeremiah just shared all the things we need to do. Here's the things not to do. Don't try to talk them in or out of any one option. It's their choice. It's what's best for them. And don't try to have those conversations over the phone or over Zoom. These are face-to-face -face conversations. Get the appointment, present the options, and help the consumer. Thanks for watching.